three, two, one. Hey, everybody, it's Terry and Jim. How you doing? You asking me or them? I'm asking uh, you, man. You, you're looking good today. I'm feeling amazing, Carrie. Thanks for asking. Want to share some great stuff with the folks? You know, you you have sparkles everywhere. I do. I glitter. That's fantastic. So, <laughs> so we are talking about, well, first of all, I want to greet everybody and say, hey, where are you from? Let us know. Type in the comments. Also, I would love to know if you are using Facebook Live because we're gonna be talking about how to do that. And Jim, I know you and I have been using it ever since it came out and we've just been hitting some amazing records. There's a lot of people that are uh, tuning in. You're killing it. They're, they're killing it, man. And so I'm gonna share this a bunch of places myself right now. I would encourage other people to share this because we're gonna give some great tips, tricks, and tools on how to use Facebook Live. But Jim, if yes. you were to say like, have you really made money using Facebook Live? Have you really sold books? Because we have a we have a guy named Tom Ryan that we're going to feature in a moment, and that dude just sold two thousand books. But what about you? Have you sold any? So two ways I've been using Facebook Live to sell books. One, I go live or try to go live every day, Monday through Friday. Chickens. Huh? Chickens? Yeah. The chickens. Um, we're going to have to mix that up. I need some more uh, livestock. Uh, but that's like a, a three to seven minute video. And then I try to end with a, you know, hey, if you haven't yet. And what I try and do is share a tip from the book or something that I can lead back to the book or tell a, pic, tell a story that I can, I can link to the book. And then the other way is by doing Facebook lives either to my, you know, with interviewing people or people interviewing me and going on other people's pages and doing lives and teaching and then talking about the book while teaching and then it, telling people where they can get it at the end. So those are the two main ways. So true content marketing where, oh yeah, again, for people who, who aren't familiar, by the way, we have Hannibal from the Philippines tuning in, Penny from Ontario, Jamie from Chicago, Brand from uh, Connecticut. We got a great group here. So um, I want I want to know though, Hannibal, Brand, Brandy, Penny, Jamie, are you using Facebook Live? Because I think um, Jim, I think there's a lot of people who are scared to go live for the very first time. I know it can be a little scary and a little embarrassing, especially if you're different from other people or feel that way. But in the end, you can just do stuff and not worry about it, Carrie. Be the unicorn. That sounds like a um, pubescent Harry Potter spinoff. Is this a compliment or is this? That voice. I mean, that voice sounded like a good 11-year-old male. Does this do it for you? That's a lot better. This is a better wizard voice. I think so. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So, but the, the big thing to understand with, with what I'm saying and with what you're saying is that Facebook Live, let's face it, there's never been a better time and there may never be a better time again where you have so many people sitting at home on social media looking for something to look at and looking for something to make them feel better or to distract them. And as an author, if you've got a great book, you have something you can sell them that will distract them and you can provide value over Facebook that will distract them. It, it's like the perfect storm for authors who want to look at this as an opportunity and not as a, a, a giant burden that we're all just trying to get through. I mean, back when I first published my, my very first book in 2004, I had a drive to Indiana to get on some, I'm not going to compliment or rip on the show, but to get on a show that didn't have a lot of viewers and sleep overnight at a hotel and then get up early, you know, get the powdered makeup because I got the bald head. And, and then, I, then I'm on this interview and I don't know how many people are watching it. And it's only once, like you can't yeah. do anything. Like after it shows, it's done. 
today you have a recording studio in your phone and all you do is hit Facebook Live and do content mark. Like, I think people don't realize the power that they have in the palm of their hand. Oh, yeah. It's a TV studio in the palm of your hand. I like that. I mean, this is this is a TV studio. This this can you can broadcast to the entire world. And if you have tricks like Jim, you can do a costume change, auto tune. I'm hey, waiting for the auto tune. You got to do what you got to do. I can't give it to you all the time. All right. Because I just you know it spoils you and it ruins it. Yeah. Honey bunny. <laughs> That's good. All right, so uh, what are we going to teach them today? We're going to teach them how to actually do one and overcome the fear of going right. live on Facebook. But, you know, the biggest thing, well, I can tell you how to overcome the fear of going live on Facebook comes down to the P word. And the P word is practice. Mm. If, you're, if you're worried about it, just practice a few times before, especially if you're doing a little three or four minute one, just practice it a few times. That's good. Um, the most important part of the whole process is the hook. It's the title of what it is that you're putting out there. And then it's what you say and what you show in the first five seconds, mm. because that is going to be a visual hook to get people to stop. That's why I have a rubber chicken, because when I do the chicken, letting the chickens out with Jim and I don't have a chicken with me and, you know, when it's raining and I'm doing virtual chickens with Jim... <laughs> Then I have a, I'm waving my rubber chicken around and people are like, what is this fool doing with the rubber chicken? And then the other thing that you want to make sure you do, at least for, you know, it works for me is go get your, as fast as you can get your video file transcribed over at otter.ai, get the SRT file, get that uploaded to Facebook so that you can have, when people are scrolling, they see you with your rubber chicken. They see you with your rubber chicken and they can see that there are words coming out of your mouth that might be of interest to them. And I'm going to give you one more tip. All right. Okay. This is this is a million dollar tip. Okay. All right. I learned this because I'd been going live for probably about six months, really, really consistently. And the way I would go live was I would say, hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. Today, we're going to talk about proper chicken handling technique or whatever the topic was. And so that was how I started every single show, the same way every single time. Hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. And the problem was that oftentimes I'm doing this, I'm walking out, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt, the same hoodie every day. Yes, I bathe, okay, but I don't you know, wash the same hoodie every day. So I'm wearing the same hat, same hoodie, walking out the same time of day down towards the chickens. It looks like the same video. So I had somebody, and I was thinking this, but I had somebody say to me, hey, Jim, where's the video you did on this? And I'm like, mm. ah, it's this. And I start looking. I couldn't find my own video that somebody was looking for because they all looked the same to me. And I went, aha. So here's the million dollar tip. The first words out of your mouth need to be your hook mm. not hi everybody it's jim edwards not hey everybody it's carrie oberbrunner and today it's you know so if the thing is um you know five things they didn't teach you in grade school about how to get along with others yep hey everybody jim edwards here and welcome to another edition of letting the chickens out with jim today we're going to talk about five things they didn't teach you in grade school about how to get along with others now the first one is if somebody touches your lunch smack them because in the COVID era, you don't want anyone touching your food. Now, I wouldn't really smack somebody if they touched my lunch. Yes, I would if it was a good lunch. My point, though, is that that right there, just saying the hook mm -hmm. and having it transcribed made a huge difference in the number of views I got because people looked and said, oh, I haven't seen this one yet. That's right. Even though I looked the same. I love Does that make sense? That's Absolutely. a big tip. Absolutely. That's a great tip. It's fantastic. I've seen a few people, few people on YouTube do the same thing. They have like the first 10 seconds, 20 seconds different, and then they play their little reel. That's the same 10 second song and all that type of thing. Yeah, Jim, just to, just to show people, because I know some people might be skeptical. That's okay. We like skeptics. 
Um, here's, <laughs> here's uh, a first time author. And then I was showing you this before we started, but Tom Ryan, we did this the other day, 23,000 views. We did it. Wow. On, yeah. Crazy on Sunday night, same, same bookshelf, 8 PM. Here he is. And you know, it, here's what else I tell people to do. Put your call to action right in the description, just like Jim and I did. In fact, you should be clicking authorwizards.com. Everybody is watching this because you put enough teaser. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good thing. You know, Tom Ryan, blah, 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 discovered his uh, shares the lessons that secured the first time ever national championship. You'll discover his proven process for escaping average and embodying greatness. Elite isn't by accident. And then sure enough, they click this and they go to the website and they click buy now. And I have a text. My phone's over there somewhere, but 2000 <laughs> copies. Wow. In, in 48 hours. And that's really the, good. The average book sells 250 copies a year. You know, and so I want people to realize like, yeah, Tom's a big guy and he's got a lot of friends and all that. But but to not use Facebook Live is a massive mistake. Right. And I think the big thing to understand is that you might, well, I don't have any followers. Well, that's okay. Reach out to people who do have followers and ask, offer to give value to their groups live because there are people that need people to, you know, they need yeah. somebody to talk to. They need somebody to put in front of their group. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Great. Okay. So one of the things that we can do is, so, so you might say to yourself, okay, which comes first, the chicken or the egg? This is something I think about often in the morning while I'm doing my videos, but it has nothing to do with what we're talking about okay. here. However, you might ask, okay, do I come up with my hook first, my headline, the title of my, of my video or my show first, or do I come up with the show and then I figure out the headline at the end? And the answer to that is, I don't care which way you do it. That's as good. long as you have a really good headline, mm -hmm. as long as you have a really good title. Like so that. we can come over here into Author Wizards. And for those of you who don't know what Author Wizards is, Author Wizards is push button software that works through your web browser. So it works on a Mac, it works on a PC, it works on a Chromebook, it'll work on your, um, on your iPad, it'll even work on your phone. And so we have a whole kinds of different wizards that you can use to create stuff. We got ads and promotions. We got book titles, book writing, content ideas, content titles. And so what I would suggest we just look at is right here, the article and video title wizard. Would you like to play with that one? You're asking me? Absolutely. Okay. Did I not ask the right way? I thought hey, you were Carrie, asking. would you like to play with this one? I would. Okay, good. So all we got to do is just put in a few things. So what's our main keyword phrase? What are we going after? What what would be our topic today? Let's let's do um, let's do uh, a, an author that's coming out soon with the book. I got to give a shout out to to her. Um, let's do um, Chelly Phillips. Her book is called Get Noticed, Get Hired. And it's all about how to, um, in this current culture of the unemployment, how to get seen for your skills. Okay, so get noticed in the job market. Yeah. Okay. Get noticed in the a highly competitive job market. Because mm, there's a lot of unemployment. Yeah, I could see that. And somebody tag Shelly Phillips because she will love that we're helping her out here. Who's our target audience? Job seeker? Yes. Okay. Or career changer. Which one? Because we, we, I think we're going to interview her or we Ooh. have interviewed her, but I know she's, you know, career changer, career. You might be talking about Louise, career power shift. Okay. Um, but job seekers, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. And what's a big benefit they want is to get get hired get um, hired get a great job get a get, well yeah paying job you know get hired to a, get hired for a great job love it okay so there we go let's whack the button and see what we come up with so um mm. 
Let's see. I don't know if I get high noticed in a find a find a I'm gonna change this. Okay. Find a job. Find a great job in yeah, a highly, highly competitive, competitive job market. And this one down, um, I'm going to just change this to some find a great job. Mm -hmm. All right. So three, find a great job in a highly competitive job market tips, or just three tips to find a, a job in a highly competitive job market. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I like the, the real trick. Look yeah, at this, the real trick to finding a great job in a highly competitive job market. That if somebody is unemployed and they're scrolling, they're going to see that and say, I want that. Yeah, I'm going to. So we're going to go shopping for titles. So all we have to do is just if you watch this clip in up here, we're going to click the, the little shopping cart icon. The real trick to find a great job in a highly competitive job market. I like that. Um, let's see. Oh, I like that. 10 things every, every, every job, job seeker should know. Yeah. And you yeah. know, you can you can make that cooler like 10 10 quick tips. Quick tips, 10 critical things, 10 critical websites every job seeker should know about. Mm -hmm. And then in parentheses and no, it's not whatever the main job, job. site is. Yeah. Job site website is. I don't even know what it is. Monster.com um, or monster something. Monster.com. No, it's not monster.com. Which isn't that a terrible name for a website to find a job? It is. Never been never been there. Um let's see. Ooh, lies. Five lies people tell themselves. You know, I mean, I just love the lie thing. Like that's huge. Like you could use that a lot of different ways. Three lies people tell themselves about finding a great job. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, or about settling for the wrong job, you know, like, Ooh, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, mistakes. The truth. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. The truth about finding a great job in a highly competitive market. That's mm -hmm. a good one too. Mm -hmm. The truth. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're basically shopping for headlines yeah. and then for the people who are, extra nervous about going live on Facebook, you actually have scripts where it prints out then once they do get the headline, what to say. So we can come over here to the FB Live one. We don't really have time to do it. Well, the complete one. Do you have but it to do it all the way the through. What's that? You have, is this like one of those where you have a- Well, have yes, a, a I have many, example? I have many oh. examples. So let's say. Mm, oh, what about the Craigslist one? That's interesting. But what? But we are talking about books. So sure, go ahead, books. We can do the Craigslist one. It doesn't matter. Um. So basically, you just we're making a Facebook Live, and then it's going to ask you a few things like, "What's your name? Who's your target audience? What's the big payoff they want?" Um, it'll ask you what's the title of your video so you can put it in or you can leave it blank and it'll make a bunch of suggestions. Mm -hmm. And then in this case, this is about steps, you know, so you just say, what are, what are the steps? What are the big takeaways? What's the call mm -hmm. to action? Then you whack the button and this will, yeah, where you want them to go. And then you can see here, um, mm -hmm. you know, for sale boner, an easy three-step guide to get your home sold to every for sale boner needs. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. So we could copy that if we were not sure. Uh, ooh, for sale boner tips to get your home sold, for sale boner mistakes that can cost you big. That's a good one. I like that. So what we can do is actually lock that one in. We whack this and then it changes it throughout everything. So it's like, that's our title. So the, the wizard actually made a title for us. Um, so then we can, you know, Hey, for sale bunners, let me show you exactly how to create amazing online ads that pull buyers so you can get your home sold. Um, and you won't have to spend a dime to do it. Drop what you're mm -hmm. doing and watch this for sale boner Facebook live right now. Um, and then before I forget, take a couple minutes to get more info. So you can instantly get your home sold right here at fisbohealth.com. So this yeah. is your post text. 
here's your title, here's your post text, all done. This is what you would paste over into um, uh, into Facebook Live or wherever you were going live. It has three different versions you can do. Here's your script. So here's what you would talk about. You know, sign one, sign up, you know, step one, sign up for a free Craigslist account, post a ton of pictures, pre-qualified people over the phone. Here's the summary. Here's the big ideas that you can create amazing online ads that pull buyers down and spending a dime to do it. And then you can don't, if people don't like a certain thing, like, like new people, you click the blue Yep. and, and it changes and it, and it basically rewrites it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, there's, it'll, it, it'll do your tweets for you. Wow. It'll write your email teaser for you. It'll even do show notes. You know, if you want to do it more like a, like a podcast. Well, what it'll do, also you click get results, you can click the DOCX and it will output your um, script for you. In Word? In, well, in DOCX, which you can open in Word, you can open in pages on a Mac, you can open in um, Google Docs, you know, you can open it in anything. And so here's, here are your show notes. And literally what I'll do is I will print this off mm -hmm. and I hold it in my hand while I'm doing it or when I'm doing it with my phone, I have a monopod that I bought off of. Um, do you want to see it? Sure. That, okay. So I have a monopod that I bought off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. And what I do is oh, I, I, I hook the phone in here. That's cool. And then I, I mean, this cost, this, this didn't cost anything on Amazon. Like we're talking 10 bucks. And then what I do is I'll print the thing off. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I'm going to have a, I have a workout printed out here, but pretend this is a script. And then I literally just take a piece of tape. Look at this folks. And, and this is how I create my little teleprompter. I take a piece of tape and I literally just tape. And now here's the secret sauce. Okay. You want the look, secret sauce? Look at the camera. Okay. Yeah. I take another piece of tape and I tape it at the bottom. Nice. So it doesn't wave around and then I can hold the thing and I got my little thing and then I just, I can glance down at my next point and glance up, glance down, glance up, glance down. And literally that's how you can do a video and you have your little script in front of you. Yeah, and that's that's really letting the cat out of the bag, though. As far as that's really that's, slick. That's how I do it. And there's been times where you and I just say, you know what? I before we started, I wrote a couple notes. I'm going to refer to it, you know, because yeah. I want to bring the value. I, I don't want you to miss out. Right, right. number one, blah blah Exa blah. It's exactly. almost easier to to be authentic and say it's there. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I know so worry. they're like, oh, my gosh, what if I look like I'm doing that? You know? Yeah. Well, and that's why you just I mean, literally, it's like, OK, the first thing I want to talk about is this. And so, OK, what? OK, now we're going to talk about no, nobody cares. Right. I mean, if you ever watch Mike Rowe on I don't know if you ever watch his stuff, he, he'll sit there and just read straight from a page. And he, he's got the thing behind his, his phone or whatever. He's reading like a letter that his mom wrote or something that that's just funny. But the, the point is that if you're nervous, a few things to make it easier. Practice, preparation, or preparation, which means you know what you're going to talk about. Practice, just run through it a few times, and then repetition. Once you've done it a few times, you, you screw up your courage and do it, it, it's nothing. You turn it on. I mean, you should see the stupid stuff I do now and oh, don't even it. think twice oh, about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, nobody, and you know what? No, no, nobody cares. Nobody cares. In fact, they're totally entertained. That's 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 good. Just saying. That's good. Um, even if you don't have a wizard shop, like like uh, me, I guys like me just buy the wizard gear on Amazon. That's right, as men do. Right that's an amazing face. beard, Mr. Kelly. Elma says that's great. The best part, though, is, is you have hair. Yeah, as I get hair. Good man. Hey, 
Who said bargain wigs can't change a man's look? It's That's amazing. A, so That's the truth. So, Jim, on that point. Three things. Wrap it prepara- up, buddy. Preparation, practice, Ooh. and repetition. That's oh. how you're going to get over any scaredy cattedness that you have of uh of going live and you've got to go live i'm gonna give a shout out to someone who went live on facebook for the first time linda outka one of our authors i believe she's an author wizards she just went live linda outka um who knows maybe she's gonna be on your show soon but she went live and people loved it cool so and why do you think people liked it? Because she was super, super. Um... I think I think people have been wanting to hear her voice. You know, like in other words, I think there's some authors right now that people are like they're almost the anti marketer. They're almost the anti marketer. Is that how long? 124 days till Christmas. <laughs> Is that true? Is that like? I think so. All right, all right. Um, but yeah they they just they wanted to hear linda and finally she went live but i think you can but here's the thing there are some people that will try and build up that pent that have that pent up stuff it's like they they go and they go and they go and they go but after a while if you don't go live people will abandon you yep you you won't you it loses it they're like matt move on to somebody else we're not getting what we want we're not getting what we need and you don't the the other thing is you don't need to get mm-hmm. millions of views to have an impact. No. So, I mean, look at this. This is her first time, I think, ever. Like, The Secret to Joy and Peace. That's pretty good. That is good. 77 comments, 18 shares. People lit it up. She goes live the next day. You know, tips for trusting God as my provider, 830 views. Like, She's being herself, you know, she's a faith-based coach and she just says, I'm in my prayer chair, you know? So you don't need to be all slick. You just be yourself. Yeah. So I love it. Very good. So what should people do next, Carrie? They should absolutely go to authorwizards.com, get a free 48 hour pass and watch it. Or if they're like, I'm in. This will pay for itself after two Facebook lives. Great. Go to authorwizards.com slash go, G-O. And I couldn't have said that better myself. So nice work. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you folks next week or even tomorrow on the Author Wizards Lab, where you take a real student and you uh, help them out. Absolutely. We take somebody just like you. And we see what's hanging them up as far as selling more books, creating their book, finishing their book, planning their book, whatever it takes. And then we show them how they can use author wizards to get better results. We have a lot of fun and we share a lot of wisdom. Don't miss it. Be here on Carrie's page at three o'clock on Thursdays. Sounds good. We'll see you folks then. Awesome. Bye-bye, everybody. Jim's handshake.